Hey, what's up guys? MJ here, Nerd at Heart. Today I'm bringing you a opening, well, not really opening because it's not boxed, but more of a walkthrough and opening of my new Low Pro BP150 day pack. This is a camera electronics gear day pack, you know, just meant for going out for the day. Maybe you're going on a trip for the weekend, you want to bring your camera gear with you, your electronics. This would be a great choice for the dollar. Um, it retails for about $69, $70. I got mine on sale this week for um, $49.99. No tax because of the state I live in, which I thought was a pretty good value for all the features that you get. Um, starting out, it's padded all around everywhere, very well built. It's got contoured and padded straps on the back, padded back. It does have just a nice handle on top if you want to carry it like, you know, just like a regular bag because it is relatively compact. It's about 8 by 10 by 15. Um, inches as far as the dimensions, but it does have quite a few features. You'll see on the side it does have some sense straps for when you're all fully loaded up. You can kind of tighten everything up for when you're walking, hiking. It does have dual mesh pockets on each side for water bottles, uh, tripods. I like to throw my keys in here sometimes, like uh, like if I take my backpack, uh, my regular backpack out, I'll throw my keys in here. They're easy to access and they relatively stay safe as long, you know, as, long as you're going to a crowded place. You might be worried, you know, about getting pickpocket or something. Um, but overall, pretty good. Starting out on the front, we have one zipper opening here that's padded. You could put your wallet in there, um, snack keys, phone, even a small tablet might fit. Like a 7-inch tablet might fit. Opening up the next pocket. This has a nice suspended... Uh, Pouch inside for putting a larger, like your iPad in here. Um, I think it will fit an iPad mini, no problem. Um, like nine inch um, Android tablets, no problem. Little lanyard here for your keys, pockets for miscellaneous things, you know, maybe a credit card, driver's license if you don't want to bring your whole wallet. Does have room in front for other random things, snacks, whatever like that. So that's always a good thing. Then getting to the main pouch. Of course, these have dual zippers on them, so easy access. Oh, all the way down here on the bottom. Sorry about that, guys. Unzip that all the way, and it folds down. You can see how well padded that is. It has a spot here for SD cards as well, which is kind of cool. And it has a fully uh, customizable inside. This pouch up here zips up for you know headphones, just miscellaneous gear. But it is Velcro, and this will fold down to about that level. So if you're taking less, like, you know, camera gear and more personal stuff, you can throw it up in there. You know, maybe like a fold-up windbreaker, uh, rain jacket, something like that. And all these tabs down here, Velcro out, so you have a lot of customization for things you want to carry. I'm going to be using this to carry uh, my drone and my Linux G7 camera for when I'm traveling and I want to shoot, which I'm going to be doing this next week, going on a week of vacation. Looking forward to that. So guys, that's your basic uh, overview without anything in it. I'm going to be coming back and showing you what it looks like with my camera gear and how I'm set up and what I take with me. All right, I'll be back in a few. And we're back. All right, guys, so let's see what's in the bag. Now I've got everything put in here. Now I, don't, I don't have a whole lot of gear because I'm still relatively new to this, but I have put a few things in here, starting out the front pack see wallet gonna have that little mini tripod if I don't take I feel like taking my big one with me which I'll probably take it but I haven't figured out a good way to put it on the bag yet so I'm sure I'll come up with something uh, USB for the laptop SD card carrier uh, keys to the car don't lose the keys or I might not get home All right. got some earbuds hot pink gotta go with the hot pink USB cable. All right, now let's get to the nitty gritty into the main compartment. Got one extra SD card. My SD card adapter, my micro SD for my drone. Don't want to lose those. And got a bunch of stuff in there. Let's check it out. All right, up here on top, I have the controller for my drone. Mavic Pro, DJI, cord for the drone, extra propellers for the drone, strap for my camera if I decide to put it on, and 
and the power cord and USB cable for the charger for the drone that uh, charges the controller and the drone at the same time. All right, you can see here, camera, charger, got my lens and my shade, drone. All right, in here, it's a Sony bag for my headset, but I took my microphone off of the camera for uh, transportation. So I figured this would be a good thing to put the cord and everything in, keep it all together in one nice place, keep it protected. Camera goes in nice. Charger for the battery for my camera. Lens shade, lens, and keeping the most expensive items secure. My drone. Uh, I've been, I put the cover, I don't fly with the uh, plastic housing on, but I did put the gimbal clamp in place for transportation because I'm going to be driving quite a few hours away just to save the gimbal a little bit of wear and tear. But guys, you can see that is everything that's in there. Quite a bit of stuff. Um, I, could, I could definitely fit some more stuff in here if necessary. I didn't either use either of the side pouches. I had them all room up here and I had pretty much this whole area up here to deal with. So if I need to put anything else in, maybe I get a point and shoot, small, you know, small DSLR or a GoPro, I definitely have the room to put that in here. So guys, this is what's in my bag right now. That's how it all fits in there. I gotta say 450 bucks for the protection. I put this on, it feels really comfortable, fits really well. I'm a really big guy. So I was kind of worried about a small backpack, you know, feeling like it was really uh, cramped up on me. But the straps are nice and long, they're comfortable, they go over my shoulder as well. And I wore it around the house for a few minutes with it, um, everything in there to see how it felt weighted. And it felt good. So I would definitely recommend this, guys. There will be a link in the description to the bag and pretty much all my camera stuff. If you have any questions about it that I might have answered technical things or you can buy it, it'll all be in there. Anyways, guys, um, one last thing. This was filmed with my, uh, my Samsung phone because... Obviously, all my camera stuff's right here, so the image quality and the audio is probably not quite as good. Um, but hopefully at some point I'll have a secondary backup camera so I can make things like this a lot better. Thanks for watching, guys. Please thumbs up, thumbs down. If you didn't like it, that's fine with me. It's your opinion. And subscribe if you like what you, uh, you saw for more great content. Have a good day, guys.